Yo, what's going on? It's Kelly and I'm back with a pet simulator video after 8 months. Yeah guys, it's been 8 months, so I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I was kind of bored, I thought I would make a video, so here I am. So we're back in pet simulator, there have been an update, so today I want to give my honest review about the RNG update. So let's get into it. As many of you know, recently the servers have been updated and the RNG event has changed to the new Botanic and with several uses. We said I was kind of confused why they chose that. Because I was thinking like, hey, there's gonna be a second update about the RNG event. They will probably add like a new dice or something for luck and a thing. And I'm not sure why the decision was made. Maybe some of you know why the decision was made, but I was really confused about the situation. I was really like, a new Titanic? A new Uges? A new weird blue dice and fire dice? And oh, by the way, I was told instantly when I came back home, like, don't buy the fire dice, the fire dice is really trashy, you shouldn't buy it, it's not good, blah 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 blah. I was like, oh, oh, okay, 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 I get it. I shall not buy it. <laughs> so I really was like, hmm, I'm not sure uh, why they made the uh, decisions the way they did, but there is probably a reason for it, and I'm not sure. Some people say there's going to be a third update, and I was like, hmm. So, hmm. But okay, so those decisions were made, and as you guys know, not long after like uh, the update, some issues happened with this merges that you see right here. And the issue was that like uh, you couldn't AFK with the dices and auto roll on because the merchants were closed like after 10 minutes or so. So I know they have updated this and fixed it in the new servers, but they forgot one important thing to do. Updating all the servers. So now a lot of people are still in the old servers. And now you're probably thinking like, hey, um, how do I know if I'm in an old server and how do I know if I'm in a new server, well that's really easy to figure out because if you go to the dice crafting if you're in an old server this will cost 30 golden dice but if you're in a new server like I am because I am in a private server it's two lucky blue dices so that's how you know a lot of people have been asking that so I want to put it in but yeah that bug happens everyone was freaking out um, everyone was mad about the fact that uh, the developers like took the dices that people have been saving from the last week and says and I had my opinions about this like it wasn't really needed because they already paid for those dices with RNG coins and all that kind of stuff personally I found that it wasn't needed and that people should just keep rolling for the chances for a huge and a Titanic but at least they fixed some stuff on the new servers and all that now for the gameplay, I must say I am enjoying the AFK aspect, don't get me wrong. It's very handy for when you're a busy person, but when you really want to play a game like a friend of mine was talking about, it's like nothing to do. You just stand here, you auto roll, you buy the dices, and eventually you go to craft new dices and hope you get like a youth or something, but there is not much to do. And personally, like... For the gameplay, it's quite difficult to get like huge pets because I have like 78k rolls because I wasn't online for a while due to um, busy lives, you know. But I haven't had to use if everyone that's gonna comment. I know you guys are gonna comment this if you see the video, but I see you use right here. That's correct. I have gotten that one from uh, Lev, which is an active uh, big games Discord user and kind of mini mod. So so this use does not count, I have it, but I did not hatch it. So 78k rolls in and I still haven't hatched a use personally. Also not a Titanic by the way, you can check my inventory, let's go. See, no Titanic, only a used mechatronic robot that I got gifted. No Titanics in this event for me. So yeah, with that. I don't know, like it's quite hard, especially if you're already like a free to play player because we have the luck game passes, I have one of them and even with that luck game pass I still don't have anything hatched 
And sure, I get lucky sometimes with the items that I get and everything. But it's not like much that I get. Like, uh, to get to this, I had to open like 60 um, of those mega lucky dices number 2. Like, it was kind of crazy. But, like, the gameplay is quite easy. But it's just boring. There's not much interaction. And something I really miss in a lot of Roblox games these days is the interaction. Because back in the days, there was a lot of community things to do together. And it caused people to, like, meet each other and help each other way more than it does nowadays. And this is just AFKing and just standing there and hoping you get that one huge you've been wanting forever or that super cute titanic that you want <laughs> you guys get it but i am however excited that um they figured out a way again for people that are free to play to get a titanic and a huge because personally i am not one to give out money to roblox or to the games a lot i do some commissions to get robux but i can definitely see why free to play play uh, players are very happy with this update to get like a titanic and all that stuff i really would love to get a titanic as well so i'm glad that they did something again for the free to play players but in my opinion they could have been better with this update make it a little bit easier for at least the uses because those are a big thing in the game as well to get and i don't know it's like it's like a good update but at the same time it's like meh it just feels meh and i don't know if you guys like understand that or if you guys have the same feeling let me know in the comments by the way if you have the same feeling like it's okay but at the same time it's, it's not kind of catchy or something it's not constantly getting my attention like oh boy i have to go into the game again and actively play and so it's so personally I would give this a bait, like if I had to rank it like between like a 0 and a 10, I would probably give it like a 6 out of 10. Like the gameplay is lacking but I see a lot of potential for uh, maybe the future or something, like it has something that's interesting but it needs to be amplified. Another thing that I found um, a bit struggling and I've seen people struggle with it as well is that the developers did not communicate anything the, a nerf happened in between most people know this that a nerf happened last week in between and to get the lesser of the titanics and everything and that caused quite the drama on twitter and all that stuff there was even a youtuber that uh, got harassed and even got death threats due to it which on a side note is totally a uh, insane thing to do like how pathetic if you said that threats over a titanic uh, nerf that they had nothing to do with by the way but like the definitely lovers should be communicating a bit more with the players like hey guys we have nerfed this of hey guys our decision was to um, not restart the servers because of this and this or hey guys we forgot to restart the servers we should do it now you know all those kind of little things that like matter to keep a community informed and you know a little bit happy to uh just did not happen from the developers however there are some people um in the discord chats like explain like hey we've seen a nerf happen and everything hey we've seen this so the information is always somewhere there on discord and social media but it's not confirmed by the developer and the same is like um you guys know david developer david he tweeted out that there will be new ways to get more luck. However, we have not seen this ways. We have seen new dices. We have seen this fire dice. That is absolutely trash. So there's no input, however. So it's now just a little bit of a thinking system. Like, hey, why do we have this fire dice if it does nothing? And the rest is just basically still the same. But he did tweet it out. So maybe they changed something like last second but it should have let the community know and i just think there needs to be better communication with uh developers and their community for pet simulator then we get more happier players i guess 
But yeah, that's my overview and my thoughts about this update. And, says, and I'm just wondering, like, what do you guys think about the update? Like, do you like it? And if you like it, like, why do you like it? Like, I would love to read the comments and see you guys explain what attracts you to the game right now. Because for me, it doesn't do much. And I am grinding, however, but I'm often playing something else or drawing. Because as you guys know, I'm a fan art contributor. So... What is the thing you like the most about this update? And what is the thing you like totally hate about the update? Because be honest about that too, you know? If if developers see videos talking about that or such, they can maybe like take it into consideration and put it out there. So if you don't like the update, also post why, explain why, like just post your facts and strategies and everything you want because then we get a little bit more of an insight like hey what does the community like what does the community not like and i think that's very important and i think that not a lot of youtubers talk about like the part of the community that's like going downhills with like a really community like and communication like very important you know as people that own a game communication with your fans so let me know in the comments, I would like to see what you guys are uh, saying about this. And I'll see you guys probably later, be sure to subscribe and bye bye.